Hello guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome to another tutorial of the Unreal Engine. So in this one we're going to continue the tutorial for the main menu on your project, on your game. So let's continue and what we had uh, was the buttons on the widget on the main menu. Now let's choose the first button. Let's add the image that's going to be on style and appearance here toggle normal and we're going to search for the image this one's going to be play I want to choose on the margin here it's going to be zero for this one it's going to be about no it's not it's not about this options 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 zero for margin for the other one it's going to be about and the last one is going to be quit. Yeah, I forgot the margins. There we go. Now let's toggle back the normal. Let's go to the hover here. Let's choose the same ones. Texture. Uh, no, let's not play. This um, quit, quit. This is quick. Quick game. This one is about. The other one is options. And the first one is play. Now let's set up the margins. Zero. Zero. Zero, zero. Okay. Now let's add a color to this. So every time we we put the mouse on top of one of the buttons here, the letter changes to the words changes to yellow. Choose the other one. Choose the other one. I'm going to choose the last one. There we go. Now let's toggle back the hovered and now let's take the one that is pressed. This one we're going to change it for the blue ones. This one is going to be play. Uh, red. What did I put about here? This one has about. This is not supposed to be about. This one is supposed to be quit. Thank you. Okay. Right, so going back to the press options here, I'm gonna put quit game pressed. Now I'm gonna put put this one about pressed. For the other one, it's gonna be options pressed, and for the first one. Is going to be play pressed. There we go. Now for the margins. There we go. So compile, save, and let's test it out. So we have a normal image, we have the second image, that's the hovered one, and the third one is when it's going when it's going to be pressed. There you go, this is the hover, those are normal ones, and this one is the one when it's pressed. Now, I want to open up a scene, so I want to load up a scene when as soon as I hit play. That's really easy. First, let's go to our widget choose the button that you want to program right now that is play and on the events that's your right on your properties are on the right up for the button go to the bottom of the properties and you will see the tab that says events hit on on the function on click let's take out the tick and for this one we're just gonna tell them open level so we're going to choose a level that we have already on our project and in this case 
the one that comes with this project is startup map we can choose well, these are the two but I want to start with the one that starts with this project that is startup map so I'm going back to my blueprints my widget I'm going back to the graph I'm going to tell them that it's going to be startup map and now let's go back to designer and list I'm going to leave these two for another tutorial let's go to the button that says quit game this one's going to be really easy too so now we hit we click on on clicked when it's clicked it's going to quit game now we compile and we save now on the next tutorial I'll try to uh, I'll have to make an environment around a scene like with a bunch of things because I want to show you guys how you can create a loading screen with a progress bar when it starts loading every object for the next level that you want uh, the people to play after that menu okay so let's test it out for now I think this is the end for this tutorial too the next tutorial for the loading and the progress bar and everything will be really really fun now we're inside the game right now if I want to quit I just head on quit and it closes the game and if I want to go to the new level hit play I hit play okay what happened here it's not working what what is it it's startup map that's the one okay let's go back uh, blueprints widget play going graph start up map that's the one. Why is it not working? Don't click. Okay. Compile, save, save. Let's get inside the map first. Let's see what we have here. Mm, it's working fine. Okay, let's save everything. Let's test it once again. Oh, I think I know why he's doing this. Because on the other scene, I think we left it with... Okay, let's go to startup map. Let's go to a world settings. Ah, oh, here it is. Function, none. Because we <coughs> if we enter to the scene, probably we will create another game mode with different options for this scene, for this level that we have. So let's save once again now let's hit the play so basically what he was doing is that when he opened up the scene the PRDV main level he opened up the menu and when we tried oh I forgot uh, when he tried to to get into the new level because he had it already programmed here the same things and the same widgets he just tried to open another main menu so we didn't see we cannot see that he hides the other one and open up the other one but he's opening another second main menu so that's a glitch if you leave it like that <laughs> okay so let's go back to our main level so now because the second the startup map level does not have a game mode selected as soon as we hit the play button is supposed to send us to that level there we go so uh, I think this is all for tonight guys uh, hope you guys enjoy these two videos I uploaded uh, the other ones like I said is gonna be really fun it's gonna be 
uh, a lot of work to do because I got to show you guys a lot of things. How to work with the progress bar, how we can create a widget. So we have to create widgets anyway because that's the way we're going to show our progress bar with whatever animated image that we want to put on on the screen and stuff like that. Um, <coughs> what else do I have? I was going to tell you guys another thing that was going to be pretty neat, but nothing. I'm going to leave it for the next tutorial. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. If you have a question, don't forget to comment. I'm right here. I will answer you back. And if you're new, stay up with uh, tune with new videos uh, from PRDB Entertainment, 4D Unreal Engine, and other types of software. I always work with a lot of software, so I'm going to keep bringing more things up and new softwares and new tutorials. And I just came back. It feels really great. And I'm going to keep up with this. Bye.